Bill for Time integrates with QuickBooks Pro, Premiere, Enterprise, and Online for PC. What imports is all finalized invoice totals, so totals of labor and expenses, and any payments and adjustments made in Bill for Time will import into your QuickBooks. The line items and details of the entries do not import, only the totals of what was billed. Today you will see how to integrate with QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online. First, go ahead and download the application by clicking the Downloads link at the bottom of any Bill for Time page. From there, click to download the QuickBooks Connector. Click Run and the QuickBooks Connector setup will appear. Follow the steps of the setup and click to install when prompted. And click to finish to launch the connector. The first step is to fill in your Bill for Time settings. Click Settings, then go ahead and enter in your firm ID and username. Then check to the right if you collect taxes and if you'd like the system to automatically add your missing clients to your QuickBooks account. Click the Validate button to bring up the next pop-up to enter in your password. Once the button to the right shows a green check mark, you are ready to go to the next step. In the QuickBooks settings, choose your version. First, we will set up the QuickBooks Desktop version. If you have your QuickBooks account that you want to link with Bill for Time already open, then leave the file area blank, which is a recommended option. If not, go ahead and click to Browse to choose the file you would like to link up to. Once finished, click the Validate button. In QuickBooks, you will get a certificate pop-up. From here, check the box next to Yes, Always, Allow, access even if QuickBooks is not running so that you can run the connector without having your QuickBooks open. Then click continue, then done when finished. You should now see a green check mark for this section. Lastly, you have your QuickBooks items. There are four main items that you need to be adding to your QuickBooks item list. Labor, expenses, discount, and late fee. If you collect taxes, you will need your labor tax and expense tax items added as well. It does not matter what you call these items in your settings, as long as they match exactly what is in your QuickBooks item list. To add them into your list, open QuickBooks and go to Lists, then Item List. To add a new item, click on Item, then New. Fill in your type, then Item Name. Then choose your account. Once finished, click OK and then do this for the rest of the items. Now once you're finished, go back to the QuickBooks connector and click the Validate button. If you receive a green check mark, then the items successfully matched up. At this point, click Save Settings as you're now finished with the setup. Go back to the Actions tab and you are now ready to export. Click the Export Bill for Time data into QuickBooks, and a pop-up will open listing all the data that is ready to be transferred. Top left, you will be able to see how many records are in this import and if there are any errors. If you do see some errors, scroll all the way over to the right of the screen to the QuickBooks Error Message column. Expand this and you can read the full error here. From here, click the QuickBooks Import button to import the data. Once finished, it will let you know how many records have been imported. You can then go and open up your QuickBooks account, go to your customers list, click into a specific customer, and you can see the invoices and payments for that customer that has been imported. Here we have our client with outstanding invoice and a payment. You are now finished with the integration. You can integrate at any point, and it will only pull the invoices and payments that have not already been imported into your QuickBooks account. Now we'll be integrating with QuickBooks Online. The only step that will be different is your QuickBooks settings, so make sure to go back and watch the setup for the Bill for Time settings. Put in your firm ID and username and click to validate to put in your password. In the QuickBooks settings, choose your version, which is now QuickBooks Online. You will then see a subscribe button to click. It will open to a pop-up to have you log into your QuickBooks Online account if you are already not logged in. 
You will see that Bill for Temp QuickBooks Connect would like to access your Intuit company data and click the button to authorize. The next screen will let you know you have successfully connected and you can close the pop-up to go back to the application. Click the validate button and you should now see a green check mark for this section. Lastly, you have your QuickBooks items. Again, there are four main items that you need to be adding to your QuickBooks item list. Labor, expenses, discount and late fee, and if you collect taxes, you will need your labor tax and your expense tax items. It does not matter what you call these items in your settings as long as they match exactly what's in your QuickBooks item list. To add these items, go into your QuickBooks account, then click into your settings, and click into your products and services list. To add a new item, click the new button. Fill in the item name, then choose your income account and click save. Do this for the rest of the items. Once finished, go back to the QuickBooks connector and click the validate button. If you receive a green check mark, then the item successfully matched up. At this point, click Save Settings as you are now finished with the setup. Then go back to the Actions tab and now you're ready to import. Click the Export Bill for Time Data into QuickBooks button and a pop-up window will open listing all of the data that is ready to be transferred. Top left, you'll be able to see how many records are in this import and if there are any errors. If there are errors, scroll to the right of the screen to see the QuickBooks Error Message column to expand to read the full error. From here, click the QuickBooks Import button to import the data. Once finished, it will let you know how many records have been imported. You can open your QuickBooks account and go to your customers list to view the invoices and payments for each customer that has imported. Here we can go to a client and see the invoice and payment that has come through. You are now finished with the integration and you can integrate at any point and it will only pull the invoices and payments that have not already been imported into your QuickBooks account. To learn more about this or if you have any specific questions, make sure to contact support for further assistance.